Hello, hello, is it hot enough for you? What do you do? <laughs> All right, guys, today's question was, can I put sunscreen on my fur baby? Uh, this question's a little more geared towards dogs than cats, just because I haven't come across specific feline research with sunscreen. I don't think it's very different, but this topic with the sunscreen is more towards canines, because that I'm a little more familiar with and cats don't tend to sunbathe near as much. <laughs> so the question was, can I put sunscreen on my dog? The answer is yes, with qualifiers. So the main thing is you want a zinc-free sunscreen and most of the sunscreens that are over the counter are zinc-free, but times do change, manufacturers change, they change ingredients. Do your due diligence and double check for the most part, here in El Paso, we do see sun cancer. It is something that is very real and we do deal with it. The probably most common version of it is cutaneous hemangiosarcoma. And a lot of those dogs are in pit bulls and they tend to sunbathe. Other breeds do get it, we do see it. Maybe it's just because we're in El Paso and there's a lot of pit bulls in El Paso. And we live in the Sun City. but. One of the things when clients bring it up or we think about it or we're dealing with these things is yes, just like people when they go to the lake or they're spending a lot of time outside at tailgate parties or you know whatever it is outside, it is ideal to put sunscreen on. Uh, people can wear long sleeve shirts, collars, put on a big hat and things. Our four legged friends don't tend to allow us to do that very well. So that doesn't work very good and they would probably overheat because they have a fur coat and then you add a, basically another coat and it's hot outside, just probably not a good recipe. So yes, I do tell clients you can apply sunscreen if your breed is predisposed or they're a big time sunbather. I do think it's a really good thing and I've had a lot of clients do it well for a long time and worked well and we haven't seen any complications here. So. I don't know which SPF, I don't have a good answer for that one. I think it varies just like it does with people. Some want 15 so they can get a little more tone. Some want 50 and everybody in between. So, you know, do your due diligence. You can do your own little research, see if you find something that you're more comfortable with, then go ahead and do that. But yes, I do think applying sunscreen on the exposed areas, typically the abdomen, maybe the bridge of the nose, but they tend to lick that off, can minimize or reduce some of the chances for the different skin cancers that we do see, or sun cancers. So, great question. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate all your support. Keep submitting them. We'll go through them and get to them as best we can. Take care. <laughs>